Praise the Lord today, saints. Oh, hallelujah to the Most High God. He is great and greatly to be praised in every hour of every day. Amen. Father, thank you for this word. Thank you, Lord, for your holiness. Thank you for your righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for your truth. Bless the word, Lord. It's your word. Let it not return void, but let it accomplish what you sent it for to do. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Today is the 17th of April, 2018, and it just amazes us how fast time is flying by. Amen. Hallelujah. And God is still on the throne. He's almighty, and he's taking care of his children throughout the earth. Hallelujah. I want to read this psalm to you. I don't know. It seems like I made a video about this recently, but I have to just do it again because it really speaks to me. And when you're walking this walk with the Lord, you have times of trouble. You have times of pressure when you're really walking with the Lord. Okay. It's not easy street all the time. Okay. It's very very seldom is it easy street, okay? Uh, there's always levels of trouble because you're in the narrow way. And if you're not in the narrow way, then you're in the broad way, which goes to destruction. And when Jesus said, narrow is the way, that word narrow means to throng, okay? To It means pressure, it means narrow. It's like you can, but you have to turn sideways to get through. It's so narrow, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. Okay, we've been through so many times of trial and troubles, Sharon and I, together. And you know what? The Lord has brought us through every single one. For that, we are thankful, and for that, we know because of that that He'll bring us through current troubles hallelujah because he's always faithful he never fails god never fails but i woke up this morning and i opened my bible to psalm 77 and i'm just going to read this and there's a verse i might comment on more verses than one but there's a verse i want to comment on that's really powerful let me just read this to you to the chief musician to jedithan a psalm of asaph I cried unto God with my voice, even unto God with my voice, and he gave ear unto me. Verse 2, in the day of my trouble I sought the Lord, my soul ran in the night and ceased not, my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. Selah. Let me comment on this verse 3. I remembered God and was troubled. I remembered God, all of his faithfulness, all of his goodness. And now I'm going through this current trouble. And we say, I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. See, I remembered God and was troubled. Troubled because I'm going through this trouble. <laughs> See? I complained and my spirit was overwhelmed. So here's a key right here. Don't complain. No. Jesus said the way is narrow. Don't complain. That's the truth right there. I'm telling you right now. Thou holdest mine eyes. Verse 4. Thou holdest mine eyes. Walking. <laughs> I am so troubled that I cannot speak. Oh, hallelujah. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I call to remembrance my song in the night. I commune with mine own heart, and my spirit made diligent search. We always search our heart when we're going through trouble. Lord, what's going on? Lord, what have we done? Anything? Show us, Father. Will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? 
Is his mercy clean gone forever? Doth his promise fail forevermore? Hath God forgotten to be gracious? Hath he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Selah. And I said, This is my infirmity. And, and that's an infirmity of the, of the flesh, you know. Thinking God's failed. Wondering if he's missed it. <laughs> Praise God. And I said, this is my infirmity. Ah, uh, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. Oh, hallelujah. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. Oh, hallelujah. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Oh, I'm telling you right now. Talk of the doings of the Lord in your own lives and in the lives of others. Hallelujah. How mighty God is. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? You know that we're the sanctuary today. Oh, hallelujah. Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? Thou art the God that doest wonders. Thou hast declared thy strength among the people. Oh, hallelujah. Thou hast with thine arm redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Selah. The waters saw thee. Oh, God, the waters saw thee. They were afraid. The depths also were troubled. The clouds poured out water. The skies sent out a sound. Thine arrows also went abroad. The voice of thy thunder was in the heaven. The lightnings lightened the world. The earth trembled and shook. Thy way is in the sea. And thy path in the great waters. And thy footsteps are not known. That's the verse right there, verse 19. That just really spoke to me this morning. See, we go through trouble, saints. And there's lots of stuff in this world going on today. Can cause trouble for God's people. Being attacked by the enemy in the spirit realm. People throwing stuff your way trying to curse you, trying to curse everything about your life, trying to curse the ministry. It's trouble. Let me tell you something. It says, Thy way, talking about the Lord Jehovah, Almighty God, Thy way is in the sea, and Thy path in the great waters, the great troubles, the tumultuous sea, and thy footsteps are not known. How many times we forget that the Lord is with us in the trouble. He's not left. He's always with his people. In this hour, remember, whatever's going on in your life, the bad times, the hard times, that the Lord is in the sea. Thy way is in the sea. In thy path in the great waters, and thy footsteps are not known. God is so faithful. Thou ledest thy people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. See how gracious God is? Can you imagine God bringing you out of slavery and then just dropping you off and that's it? Good luck. He didn't do that with his people. He had Moses and Aaron leading them. And all those who believed made it through across the Jordan River into the promised land. Those who didn't believe were destroyed in the wilderness because they would not. They refused to believe the Lord. Remember today that God is with you. You're born again. You're filled with the Spirit of God today. Okay. God is with you. He is in you. He loves you. And He's with you in whatever you're going through today. 
We cannot forget this. It is so vitally important to remember verse 19, Psalm 77. Thy way is in the sea and thy path in the great waters and thy footsteps are not known. It's sad, isn't it? Lord, that we would know today, Lord, I pray your footsteps in the great waters. Father, I ask that we would know and that we would see your mighty hand today, Lord. Hallelujah. And how you work in the mysterious ways, Lord, in the hearts of your people. As Solomon was building the temple, Lord, there was not a sound of the tool inside the temple, Lord. Not one sound. It was quiet. No one was speaking. And today, Lord, we are your temple and you are doing things in us. Oh, Lord, we walk by faith and not by sight. Sometimes we can't hear you, Lord. Sometimes we don't know what you're doing. But we know you know, Lord. And because you know, and we know you're with us, we can trust in you, Lord. We thank you. We praise you and we glorify you today. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Make us after thy will. While we are waiting, yield it and still. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for your mighty power. Thank you for your holiness. And crush the devil under our feet in Jesus' name. Amen.